After this morning's heavy rains in Mandeville, really elsewhere, we didn't see nearly the accumulation. We'll show you the totals in just a moment. And also, thankfully, by midday through the afternoon and into the early evening hours, rainfall did really settle. We started to get a little bit more active on the North Shore and in the river parishes over the last couple of hours, but this is nothing like what we saw this morning. Few pockets of some heavier rainfall, thankfully, moving between the sun and up toward Poplarville area south of Bogalusa has had some showers around Folsom at the moment. Thankfully, it doesn't look like any of these are nearly as heavy. And as I mentioned, they are moving and at times they kind of weaken as they continue along those tracks. The rainfall totals kind of that bullseye right over Mandeville of about eight to 10 inches of rainfall. And it really is all a matter of location because Kenner Nothing today, a trace of rainfall, but nothing measurable. Half inch of rainfall at Lakefront, 1.26 in Slidell. So certainly most of our high rainfall totals were on the North Shore with that pocket over Mandeville. Mostly cloudy skies outside at the moment, 85 degrees with the temperature, a dew point temperature of 73. You need a heat, heat index if I can get it out is at 92. Today's high though with clouds and rain kept us in the 80s, well below the average of 92 degrees. And again, only a trace of rain at Kenner today, so officially no measurable rainfall at Kenner, so we won't add to our totals at least at Kenner, but certainly adding to them in Mandeville. Temperatures at the moment in the upper 70s and lower 80s across the area, and this is all thanks to that upper trough we have been talking about since yesterday. Now the upper trough is still going to be with us tomorrow, but the difference tomorrow is that you can clearly see on satellite here this almost low level circulation. Let's see if it's a little bit more focused around the Texas Louisiana line. This is a little surface low. That's what also helped to get a lot of those storms going. That is going to be moving away from us tomorrow, and that should start to reduce our rain coverage. May still have a few showers into the overnight period, so we may see some storms as we wake up tomorrow morning and then scattered during the day. But notice our rain coverage from our high resolution model, not nearly as extensive as we saw today. And we should be on a drying trend as we continue through the next several days. The upper trough is gone by Thursday and Friday and an upper ridge builds in and we might see a break in that ridge by the weekend where the ridge shifts a little bit more to the east or excuse me, to the west of us and to our east an east coast trough that may be enough to help trigger a few more showers for both Saturday and Sunday. Not a great deal of rainfall, but at the moment I'm going to increase our rain chances a little bit more for the weekend as we dry out a bit more for Thursday and Friday. Might see those rain chances come up a bit for Saturday, Sunday and then start coming down again for Monday and Tuesday. We will see great news out in the tropics. There is nothing going on. Models indicating we should remain quiet for at least the next five to seven days and some of the long range models are indicating that maybe we start to see some activity by August, but it may not even be the first week of August. We might have another couple of weeks of fairly quiet conditions out in the tropics. Every day it's quiet is a good day. Rain chances about 50% during the day tomorrow, a high around 89. We're back into the lower mid 90s. I don't think anyone is going to complain about the 90s if we can get rid of the rainfall. Might see those rain chances pick up a little bit for the weekend and then we start drying out again by early next week. All right, thank you, Chris.